Welcome to Fix My Brand with Allie Craig, a nine-week social experiment to take nine brands of all types and from around the world and transform them from fledgling to fierce competition. I'm your host, Allie Craig, best-selling author, producer, strategist, and brander. Together, we will follow the steps and strategies taken, as well as the psychological and logistical pitfalls that get in many entrepreneurs' way of their ultimate brand success. These are their stories. I am a, a coach, a guide, a facilitator um, of personal transformation to help people find their, their fulfill their greatest potential in life. And I was also an author, a writer, and an artist, and a muse. So it happens. Jeannie P has had many successful online businesses in the past. She walked away from her last online business a few years back when it was no longer fulfilling the mission of her heart. So does my brand match my dreams? Uh, no, not yet, obviously. And as I'm a dream specialist and that's my subject, the Fix My Brand adventure has got to do a job of making sure that, that, that this aspect, which is, which is a core of my, of my teaching, has got to be very, very powerful. After trying her hand at a local brick and mortar business, Ginny P realized that her heart was to serve on a greater scale than just her local village in France. Because I live in France, even though I've lived here for 26 years, there's always been a difficulty of, having, of balancing having a enterprise which is for a global market and trying to find the daily balance here. And that was one of the things that, that I found extremely challenging. Like many entrepreneurs, Ginny P's heart was to serve on a greater scale. And with her previous brand, though they had met the greater scale part, they didn't serve the audience fully. The other challenge that I had was that I didn't really know my market. I didn't really know who I could serve best of all. Ginny P was completely open. I love that open spirit. If it was to revive an online group that still existed from her previous online business, reuse the content or start again. She just wanted to get her message out and be able to live and love her life, not be absorbed by the business side of the brand. Our true happiness comes in from doing what we love, what we do best and what we value. So that's brought me full, full circle with everything that um, I've created ready to repackage in this Fix My Brand show. The disconnect for Ginny P really was more of a revelation. There was a completely new audience who loved her message, just didn't love her current packaging. And besides loving her message, they would eagerly pay for her wisdom. Where I am at the moment is coming back in four years later and finding that the internet has moved on, or the global market has moved on, um, it's even more huge, there are more social media sites, there are more programs, it's more sophisticated, people's attention are being pulled by different things, there are new ways to consume information, and of course the, the coaching market and the, and the personal transformation market is even bigger than it, than it already was. So I'm coming back in feeling very, very small, hidden, um, lost, not knowing quite once what to, you know, which way to, how to, how to be noticed. Ginny P's message is her life's work. They are one and the same. So creating a lifestyle brand was the smartest approach because it utilizes everything in her past, encourages all areas of her life to evolve, and allows for her offerings to grow as she does. We have all seen the traditional branding approach when offering a self-help program. Buy the do-it-yourself product and upgrade into the community, which really just is a place, but no real value. It is just like when you see the transcripts of an online conference offered, it's filler, but no value. No one reads 800 pages. To add the neurohuman branding aspect to her brand, we played off of our human desire for true connection. Because her audience is a group of seekers looking for answers to make their lives and the world better, we wanted to create a true community and true experiences. From the multi-sensory sales page to the offer, connection and growth are clear. Offering peer-to-peer -peer support is a way for all to help and all to grow. 
And instead of the offer being to buy the product and upgrade the community, we made the upgrade about deepening your experience by working closer with Ginny P and helping others grow by sharing your own story. Even though Ginny P had an existing online business and community, this target audience was far different from her past one. Starting fresh from the platform we created in to expressing the message both visually and verbally were key to the rebirth of her brand. Ginny P was so willing to do the work. You see, like many people, Ginny P has a great DSLR camera. She is a camera owner. She is not a photographer. Something many entrepreneurs get especially confused. Eventually though, she realized that she needed to call in a professional. So we storyboarded her photo shoot out, scouted a great local photographer in France with the design eye we knew Ginny needed. So we've had some jolly times. We've been traveling and taking photographs, all the beautiful things around here, happiness, people, people enjoying themselves, people being transformed. There's still some more photographs to come and um, I'm looking forward to doing that with a professional photographer next, next week. And I'm really excited about that. And as you can see on her website, the photography is amazing. It tells the story before you ever read the words. The experience, the emotions are all triggered. And that is what every visual should do for your brand. The work we decided to build her brand around was something already existing. Most entrepreneurs have a similar theme or message that their work always revolves around. This was the case with Jenny P. The challenge for her and for many entrepreneurs is to see and speak of their existing work in a new light. We get so used to using the same verbiage, visuals, that we don't realize that there are other options. Uh, I'm just feeling a bit lost in my direction. It's, it's, um, this, this is the feeling. It's, if you, you've got a brand that you've had for a very long time that might not be serving serving you, but nevertheless, it's a bit like that your your identity or your persona, and, and then it's t taken away, and, and then I'm walking around going, well, who am I? <laughs> what am I meant to be doing? So uh, it's, it's go back and do your own work time. It takes a bit of searching and willingness to rework and rethink, but it's possible, and by doing so you open your work up to a whole new audience while retaining the core of the message. The interesting thing about Ginny P's brand is that the audience and the message were clear. The audience's desires were clear. Renaming the existing product, that wasn't so clear. Because Ginny P's old audience were very spiritually woo, the name and verbiage went that way. But the truth is that her work was based a lot in proven ancient principles and science. And it is those aspects that were selling points to her new Gen X, Gen Y, semi-mainstream seekers. So to find a name that spoke to the spiritual, the science, and the ancient was a creative challenge. But once the creative gods shined down on us, the phrase Trinity Code, we knew we had the one. So do you feel like you have better clarity then about oh, what yeah, you're doing? Absolutely, absolutely. It took so long to get to the to the point of what actually the offer is going to be with the Trinity Code. We kind of slightly went went off, off track. Now I'm really excited. Yeah. <laughs> Ginny P's audience Nuri assessment showed that besides a deep desire for connection and growth, they also wanted a sense of history and contribution. They didn't just desire this in their product experience, but in their everyday life. Ginny P's work already delivered this. We just needed to make sure that the packaging, delivery method, and content flow created the experience ASAP for her community. By fulfilling these needs of her audience quickly, Ginny P's work becomes more of a powerful, valuable, and life-changing for her community, creating lasting results and a stronger Mara and Bob community, something Ginny P really wants. For Ginny P, her content marketing approach is all about the story and the specific steps necessary for the transformation. Short videos showing her life and sharing her message are perfect. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Pinterest are her four main modes of outreach. And because Ginny P is only one person, her video creation list is a combination of strategic pieces that we can cut up and share on other platforms and off-the-cuff pieces from her heart. 
Once the Treating Code community is live and active, sharing community member stories and interviewing community guest experts will add variety into our content marketing system. With Ginny P, the end result is easy. Come join us. For Ginny P, making sure that verbal and visual message is always balancing the spiritual, science, and ancient is crucial. If she does that, all Ginny needs to be is herself. This is the audience that she's been looking for and that has been looking for her. When you are so passionate about your work, don't be scared to play all in. If your life reflects your work, then share your life. If your work is no longer transforming the lives of who you seek, then change the way that you share the message. The meaning of the message doesn't need to change. Just be brave enough to create a new story that connects around your message. We all want instant success. It's the way we live with society. But guess what? Building a great brand and a successful brand takes time. Having a great brand strategy will expedite your success, but it still takes time, on average two to three years. So everything that you strategized out in phase one of what were your big goals, you have to consistently work your brand every single day for the next two to three years to begin to actually see that in your everyday life. So sticking with it and staying true to your strategy is essential for you to actually see and live the success you want. Roberta has all the training and skill, but life brought her to a local marketplace that didn't value her creative skills. I'm, I come from the couture kind of area, so I love luxury, I love beautiful uh, things, but I also ride a motorcycle, so I want to have like a little bit of edge on my gowns, so I do try to incorporate some kind of a contrast on them. 